One of the things that we've seen from this whole COVID-19 issue is that your health status determines to a very, very great degree your prognosis or the cause of the disease if you should contract the virus. And what we know is that the healthier you are, the less likely it's going to last more than three, four, five days. And it's just, just an upper respir respiratory tract thing. Of course, if you have any of the susceptibility factors, especially hypertension, diabetes, um, obesity, chronic lung disease, cardiovascular disease, these will all compound the issue. So it's really, really important that you make sure that you pay specific attention to your health, take your medications, obey your doctor's orders, and in addition to that, be sure to obey the laws of life and the laws of health. In one of our episodes, we talked about the microbiome and how that can be protective or otherwise against COVID, uh, against viral infections, bacterial infections, and including, of course, COVID-19. And most of you uh, asked, what is the microbiome? I'm just going to say it real quick. The microbiome is the whole body of bacteria and viruses and foreign organisms, not uh, human DNA, but foreign DNA that live in your body. And they've been on you right from birth. Uh, so the, the, and then there are different components. So you have the skin microbiome, that's the, the bugs that live in your skin. Then you have the lung microbiome, the, lung, the bugs that live in your lungs. Of course, you have the gut microbiome, which is the majority of where all those foreign organisms live in your gut. And it's interesting, uh, the, the gut microbiome affects a lot of things, including your brain health, your mental health, your immune health, um, your metabolism. Your whether or not you are fat, you're obese, your whether you're not, not you're fat. I mean, think about that. It affects even your your dietary patterns and your weight. So the, the microbiome is very, very important. And so what they are saying, and they're looking at Africa, and they're like, well, the spread is not as rapid in Africa as it is in other parts of the world. And they're thinking, I mean, this is not confirmed yet because the studies haven't been done specifically on COVID-19. But they were saying that maybe, maybe our microbiome, our collection of... Uh, bacteria and viruses and bugs uh, are somewhat protective against COVID-19 or well, well maybe not protective but at least they make us less susceptible to the severe complications of COVID-19. Um, so one of the things that we recommend and this is universal now if you want to if you're eating think not just about yourself but think about your microbiome because they need food too and one of the top things that we have seen that have been extremely help helpful for the gut microbiome is fiber fiber not only helps to make you full and helps you to push out more of your stuff but it is even extremely important to help to feed the gut microbes and when the gut microbes your healthy gut microbes are happy you are going to be happy as well literally happy gut microbes produce uh, chemicals that help to make your brain happier too by the way, 90% uh, of all serotonin is produced in the gut, especially by the gut microbes. Yes, we talk about vitamin D3 a lot, and it's very, very important. We cannot overemphasize it because vitamin D does so much for the body. As a matter of fact, the statistics or the research shows that greater than 5%, greater than 5% of all the protein encoding genes, that's a big term, but vitamin D influences greater than 5% of all the genes that that produce proteins in your body. So it's really, really important. We know that vitamin D is important for the immune system. We know it's important for the respiratory system. We know it's important for the brain and for mental health. We know it's important for even your your sex drive so it's very very important that vitamin d levels are maintained and i talk about it a lot because you don't it's not when you contract the virus that's of the covid 19 it's you you need to build up your vitamin d3 levels to a certain level and what they found out is that that level is really what helps to protect against uh viruses and bacteria or it helps to boost your immune system to protect against viruses and bacteria and you don't just get that all of a sudden from just taking a lot of vitamin d today or tomorrow or yesterday it's something you build up over a, over a few months and i've been using vitamin d for a very long time um, sometimes higher than what is re required but the truth is that the 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 safety margin for vitamin d is really really wide so you would do well to look into that and speak to your doctor about it vitamin d is really really safe one of the things you want to re reduce or in fact eliminate during this COVID-19 season, excuse me, COVID-19 season is smoking. Yes, smoking. 
whether it's a pipe, whether it's a cigarette, whether it's a cigar, whether it's something illicit, okay? You want to reduce that. Why? Because smoking of any kind, including vaping, by the way, yes. And then what's that, what was that thing called that young people smoke in the shisha? Yeah, shisha. You want to avoid all these things as much as possible because COVID-19 specifically targets the lungs. You know this already. And smoking releases toxins, not just nicotine, but the 200 other toxins which damage and affect the lungs and not just the lungs but your blood system and your body as well and so it's really really important that you reduce or eliminate smoking completely during the season if you can try to avoid it because it makes you more susceptible and if when you get the virus god forbid it is a more severe form so watch out for smoking one of the things you want to watch out for during this covid19 season is boredom and stress you know we talk about stress a lot as if stress is one hyper hyper thing okay my boss is upset with me or they're going to rob my house or um, people are fighting or you're having an argument so stress is that yes but stress is also in the opposite direction too if things are too hypo for instance yeah lying down in bed all excess sleep can, ca can cause stress on your body believe it or not excess boredom or boredom can cause uh, stress, loneliness can cause stress, lack of physical inter interaction, um, social interaction can also cause stress. And I know during this COVID-19 periods, everybody is like, especially if you stay alone, it's like that is causing stress because you're not having the normal physical contact, social contact that you used to enjoy. So some of, among the things that you, you have to be aware that this is happening and therefore it is causing stress in your body. And uh, we talk about mental stress. We talk about emotional stress in one of our shows uh, called Mental Stress. So you can dig that up in the archives. And better than that, you can join us every week. I talk about stress and how it affects the immune system, stress and how it causes inflammation in, in your body. And by the way, inflammation triggers is one of the triggers for uh, COVID-19, uh, this more severe form of the disease in our body. I want to talk up to you about some of the things that you need to avoid. One of them is alcohol. You want to avoid or reduce it. We know that alcohol produces sugar. Sugar also produces a lot of chemicals. Uh, well, one of the things that sugar does is that it actually limits and uh, hinders your immune system. It makes your immune system sluggish and stupid. And it's, and if your immune system is not working like it should, you, are, you won't be able to protect yourself against invasion by COVID-19 and it, as a matter of fact it will also what sugar does is also raises the levels of inflammation and if you remember we talked about inflammation in one of our episodes you would be you would do well to go and check it out it's archived uh, on the YouTube channel and so sugar is not good alcohol is not good um, yes you need alcohol to sanitize your hands you do not need to drink alcohol to sanitize your this inside of your body and people have talked about other things as well but watch out for alcohol please you want to minim minimize your level of alcohol drinking especially at night <music>